morning everyone it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read um I had some early re morning readings today so if I read for people sometimes in other countries I have to get up bright and early but they were beautiful readings okay so I'm going with a new tarot deck this morning and I want to thank the beautiful Haley for giving those to me you know I'm always reluctant to say thank you to people because I don't want people to feel uncomfortable or embarrassed um, so I, I sort of never really know whether you want me to announce that you've done it or not, but Hayley, I know you'd be okay with this. So thank you so much. And the tarot deck is called Spirit Song. They're beautiful cards. I haven't used them before because they're a little different. So we're going to use them for your bonus read this morning. So I have the five of swords coming out here and they're beautiful have a look at them but because they're done in feathers shells crystals and acorns I have to keep a little note of that up there so I know what I'm doing <laughs> but anyway alrighty let's see what's going on for your bonus read I'll be back doing lives tomorrow on YouTube I know everybody's missed me because I was doing them every day in lockdown. Um, and I think it was really good for all of us so to have the connection. It was very, very uh, quiet that first time around. It doesn't seem quite so, quite so um, scary now as it did then. Though it's still scary, but it doesn't feel quite so bad. All right. Let's see what's happening in the bonus world. All right, we have the Emperor coming out. Well, that's easy enough to read, isn't it? Um, <laughs> the Emperor. And they call the Emperor stability and focus. I call it power. It's about taking your power back. It can also be the energy of the divine masculine. And that doesn't relate to male or female. It's the masculine aspect of yourself. So maybe taking charge in terms of, you know, stepping out, getting a new job, finding a new source of income, going after a relationship. Definitely about taking your power back. Okay, so I have the Ace of Pentacles coming through afterwards. So definitely about something to do with your finances, um, manifestation of prosperity. So it's definitely about taking control of your finances. So you may be deciding to go on to a different path. You may be deciding to start your own business up, like me. Um, it might be that you are going after a progression at work, some sort of promotion. Okay, and then we have the Three of Cups coming through. So the Three of Cups is about celebration. Um, it does end up coming out different ways in the readings, but the theme of the card is about reunion, celebration, happiness. Something is making you extremely happy that you're going after here, something that you've manifested with this magician. Um, and we also have the Knight of Crystals coming through. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody here, um, Page of Swords, somebody's been sort of keeping a little bit of an eye on a situation here. I feel like somebody wants to come forward and make some sort of offer here, whether this is work or whether somebody could have been researching you on the internet. Um, somebody could be headhunting you or somebody could have been keeping an eye on you because they want to offer you something long term here, um, perhaps a relationship or um, it could be a job. But whatever this is, somebody wants to come forward with an offer. Um the Page of Swords sort of talks of researching. We have the Temperance card behind here too. I feel very strongly here that somebody wants to make a move forward, to make an offer to you, something stable here. Um, it's possible here that you could have had someone that's walked away from another situation. They've manifested something here. Um, they want to make an offer here with this Knight of Pentacles. Could have been a very slow process, but... I feel that they've been keeping an eye on the situation and they feel that they're in the right place now to offer you what you want or need. So they're making their way towards you, but very slowly. 
Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles coming through first. Um, I, so I can't help reading what they've written as the meanings below them. It's quite interesting. So the Page of Pentacles is someone who wants to sort of make a, a very small offering. I always think this is sort of a gift. Sometimes it's a gift that comes sort of more from the universe than the person. So it may be somebody who's giving you a little bit of an indication that they're interested in you. Um, it may not be that they want to take things any further at this point, but they may want to start something with you. Maybe contact, maybe, uh, you know, a, a date, maybe just talking on the phone. But something small that's going to start something more. But that's all they're ready to offer. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles coming through here. So I feel like whoever this person is that's coming towards you here has perhaps been so through something that's a little, uh, has been a little difficult for them. And um, there's some sort of, there's some sadness here. Now, it could be that you've spent time apart from this person. Um, perhaps you've had some sort of basis here. Uh, and this person's not really relished sort of having that distance. Um, but this person here is really looking at what they can create with you here. But they're very tentative about how they're coming forward. All right, so we have the King of Cups coming through here. So you could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. This person is very, very in control or... Um, comfortable with their own emotions someone's done a bit of work here i think um to try and get their emotional state I, I feel like this person's come from something where maybe emotionally they've been a little scattered but they're pulling themselves into shape here all right and we have the knight of wands coming through here wow okay the Knight of Wands is a card that talks about, you know, passion, um, you know, coming forth in a very passionate, uh... <laughs> sorry, I'm listening to the, listening to spirit and they're a bit naughty sometimes. The Knight of, um, the Knight of Wands can be seen as the player card or the person who's, you know, reluctant to commit. But it is also a person who's feeling very passionate and very loved up here. So you've got somebody coming into contact with you who is very physically attracted to you. Let's put it that way. Um, and they feel very, very passionate about making a, a move towards you. But there's sort of this energy that they're also being, there's sort of like this duality it's sort of like this person is emotionally quite, um, has been in a very difficult place, but that, that that's not stopping them from how they feel about being around you here. So it's sort of like they want to rush in, but they also are cautious and nervous about moving too quickly. All right. We have the Queen of Wands coming through here. With the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. I feel like you feel the same way about this person. I feel like you're both feeling very comfortable with your own emotions here. I feel... There's a lot of love and a lot of passion between the two of you. So I feel also that it's possible that you do know this person. Let's keep going. Okay. I have to say to you, there's a lot of aces in this reading. The ace of swords is here. A conversation needs to happen here. Okay, with the seven of swords. Wow, these cards are just so beautiful. I'm absolutely fixed on them. Um, okay. And we have the Ten of Cups. What a beautiful reading. There are two people who are coming together here. One person's already obviously quite receptive and really is welcoming this person in. 
There is no animosity here whatsoever. The other person has been through a very difficult time and they have been doing some work on themselves, but they want to move in because they feel very passionate and physically desiring a connection with you. There's also this feeling here that there is some sort of conversation that needs to take place in order to bring forward this beautiful energy here of the Ten of Cups. The thing is, I feel like there's a lot been unsaid in this situation. So maybe both of you haven't had an opportunity to really open up and tell each other how you feel. Um, I want to put a couple more cards down here. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. Okay, with the Page of Wands. I feel like one or both of you have held back on a lot of emotion here. Um, there seems to be this sort of situation where I feel that you've both maybe had an attraction for each other for a long time, but it's never actually, it's like you're coming into the to union for the first time here. It's definitely something to do with your past, some sort of past connection you have with this person, whether it's past life or past, past life or in this life. There's a very strong connection here that makes you both feel very childlike. It's an energy of almost being in love for the first time. This is beautiful, but both people want to put energy into this situation. Both of you feel the connection really strongly and you're both wanting to put the connection, put the, put the work in here. All right, so we have the emperor coming forward here. I feel this is who's coming in. I feel that they want to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. Um, there is the Three of Cups here. So this person may have freed themselves from another situation. It may be why they're still feeling a little bit cautious here. Um, but maybe it's because they're celebrating being with you too. Um, there's definitely some manifestation that's occurred here. So there's been enough desire in this situation to bring you both together. Um, the Knight of Pentacles says to me that it could have been a long time. This could be somebody you've known either for a long time or you knew them from a long time ago. Um, the Page of Swords tells me that perhaps one or both of you have been keeping an eye on this situation. Obviously, you've had some sort of connection in the past here. Now, it could have been that you knew each other from school. It could be that you've crossed paths in your work. Um, and whatever it was, they started some sort of connection up here. You've got some sort of past life connection, perhaps. And you're both feeling very emotional and very sort of attracted to each other on a physical level. There's a physical union that's going to take place here. Um, but I feel that more so that there is an energy of needing to have that conversation about both of you and your feelings towards each other. Because I feel like perhaps you've loved this person for a long time. Okay, Ten of Pentacles coming up here. I think you've loved this person for a long time, but I don't think that it's ever been something that you've acted on. There's a lot of passion and breathlessness in this reading. A lot of passion. All right, I've got man holding a coin and here he comes. Look at this. How very interesting, being that I had the, the uh, emperor and the ace of pentacles coming out at the very beginning. Card 43. Okay. This card shows a man sitting in a lush flowering field holding a large bright coin. For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and a readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money or value in your life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your own finances and act. This card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. 
This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm going to leave you with that. Have a great day.